Yeah, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day and Happy Thursday. And uh, my people, I don't want to waste much of your time. Oh, I want you to listen and listen attentively because the matter where we carry come here, a day too boku and a day too plenty. Oh, in case you never know, na me mo we mo na me be Amanda Neze reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Oh where we always speak to you the undiluted truth about everything this news oh, you can call it a propaganda you can call it a real you can call it a fake but the important thing there is that uh, we are passing information to the general public concerning the issue and uh, i mean uh, the release of mazin namde kano which uh aloysius sejimako who happens to be the lead counsel uh to the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob Telling us uh, that Mazen Namdekano was not released though, but there's news flying everywhere that Namdekano have been released. But to me, I can say this one is just uh, one step at a time because Mazen Namdekano is going to be free any moment from now. Biafra, lawyer Ejimako debunks rumor of Namdekano's release, according to the information. It is a propaganda, but I can tell you, in any rumor, there's an atom of truth in it. Namde Kano is warming up to do what? To join the Biafran struggle once again. To start from where he stopped. Or rather, to join hands with Simon Epa Njoko, the BG Prime Minister, for the progress of this very particular struggle. We are not like the Afon Jazz, which is the Yorubas. Waiting, say, the thing say, by Garaga, submit, or by submitting a letter, my dear, we take the bull by the horn. Here are other headlines. We have to treat this Thursday morning. Remember, like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. La Sisi Elenu, don't come out to say, I really miss you. Comedian La Sisi tells ex-president Buhari Amid Hashib. Buhari talk and say, if he come out, say Nigeria must surely miss him. And I'm waiting to happen now. I told my people when we are doing this argument, they say Tunumbu is a, a strategic. He will do this, he do that, he do that in Lagos, he do this in Oshodi, he do it in Mushi, he do it in Alab Alaba, like this, like that. I told them that anything that will make Nigerians, Zojurians, that uh, geographical expression to miss Muhammad Buhari, that means this country called Nigeria have reached at, at its peak of what? Of disintegration. And what did happen today? Turumbu knows what he is doing. Turumbu knows that Nigeria has no basis to be one. 1997 to Turumbu still said he didn't believe in one Nigeria. Anybody that is waiting for Turumbu to make magic, that person is a liar. World Bank have, have come out now to tell you people that the, 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 the economy policies that Turumbu initiated will take 15 good years to yield fruit. And I ask, who are the people that will wait for that 15 good years? Under the one year of Bolame Tunumbu, people are dying. People are committing suicide. Crime at a very high rate because hunger brings crime. Uh, an idle body or an idle mind is a devil's workshop. And the World Bank have the God to come and tell us because they keep giving them loan. When they give them loan, they will share the money and send it back to the country where the loan came from. So how about the same thing? Ishing Bui, Karuna Pankui. Hi. Bona boy, it takes 30 million naira to carry me. Speak that in Agbi. Speak after his release. Agbi, don't come again, no. Oh. <laughs> again, gunmen kill five in Plateau. Flesh attack. The one that happened on 24th of uh, uh, December 2023, no single soul was arrested. Since then, there have been a countless attack in that Plateau stage. Bokos, Bokos, precisely. Taking people's lands, killing them, and taking the ancestral lands. Those are the people they want to push down to the southeast. Akane, Alas, Akana, we have of Akka if they did not take their time. This is happening. Look at over 165 people died in Jigawa, where people out of hunger, tanker fall, they went to scoop fuel. The thing caught fire and burned everybody to ashes. Is that not enough evidence for the president of the nation to return back home? This one happened yesterday, Shetima, 
jump in and go out to to uh, Sweden. Look at a country of over 200 million people. The president is not there. The vice is not there. Who is taking care of the affairs? This is the country you tell me we Biafrans should, should come out and begin to take proud and say I'm a, I'm a Nigerian. God forbid. I'm a Nigerian. That I'm supporting one Nigeria. Any day more I'm going to go down to the more we're in the Nigeria call Nigeria. Dara and Dara. No president, no vice. Now maybe Oruna Mitrumbu is the one that is ruling the country of over 200 million people. Dara and Dara. I beg, let us get to the reason why we're here this morning. I don't even, I don't want to get angry over this matter. The lead council, Tomasin Namdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a lawyer, Jimako, has debunked rumors of uh, uh, Biafra's agitators' release. Jimako described the rumors of Kano's release as fake, fake news. Posting on X, the lead council said there won't be any need for confirmation when Kano is released. He wrote, fake news alert. The general public is hereby advised to discard the viral rumor that Namde Kano has been released. It is pure fake news. The day Namde Kano, the big elephant and the leader of millions, is freed, the earth itself will announce it and it won't require any confirmation. There will be a total celebration galore. Hey, sorry, agony and pain. Kano has been detained since he was uh, kidnapped and subjected to extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Zogeria. Upon return to Zogeria, courts had granted the IPOB leader bail, but the Nigerian government had refused to release him. While Kano languished in detention at the Department of State Service, DSS, the secret police had blocked all attempts by his legal team to have access to him. Emotional torture. I really miss you, comedian Lassisi Elenu tells uh, Mamama Dubuare. Nigerian comedian Lassisi Elenu has sparked conversation on social media after he expressed his nostalgia for former President Mohamedou Buhari. In the face of the current hardship in the country, the comedian said he meets Buhari. Lassisi is known for his humorous takes on various societal issues. His comments about Buhari have stirred both laughter and reflection among his followers. The comedian, whose real name is Nosa Afolabi, took to Instagram on Wednesday to share a recording of a voice note he sent to the former president as a private message, where he was almost in tears, saying he misses him. In the voice note, he said, I am not sending you this message on behalf of anyone. I think I owe it to myself and my family. I never thought I would be here doing this at this time. First, I don't know uh, how to say this. I miss you. God help me. I die, I day. Jay, God have mercy. Record that Buhari left office in May 2023. And since then, Nigeria believed things have taken a bad turn in terms of the country's economy. In fact, the country never remained the same. The comedian's post has elicited mixed reactions online. Some fans agreed with his sentiment, arguing that Buhari's time in office provided a sense of uh, order, while others pointed out the challenge faced during his presidency. It takes 30 million naira to carry me, with that breaks silence after his release. Nigerian rapper Spidalente, popularly known as Akbi, has broken his silence after release from police custody. Daily Post recalled that the rapper was arrested some days ago by Bonaboy over defamatory comments. His arrest comes after a video of him questioning the authenticity of Bonaboy's Grammy Award, linking Bonaboy with the embattled American singer Didi. However, Speaking days after his release from police detention, Dalatin in a video shared to mock Bonaboy revealed that it takes 30 million naira to carry me. He said, ESCC, they give bed. DSS, they give food. 
I don't survive ground zero. What can you do to me next? If I go missing, now you. If you go missing, no be me. <laughs> Capturing the video he wrote, Big Fish. It takes 30 million naira to carry me, according to Speed Dalentin. Hey, <laughs> while I know the finish. This guy know the case, I know get head. <laughs> hey, please uh, let us take the last news before we, we, we round up the show. Again, government donkey five in fresh plateau attack. Government have again launched a fresh attack on some rural communities in Bokos. I said it, local government area of plateau state, killing no fewer than five people. This is contained in a statement on Tuesday by the chairman of Bokos Cultural Development Council. Famusun, Fudang, and the secretary, Duwam Bosco. The Jews said the attack occurred on Monday, October 14, decrying previous attacks that have led to the death of several people in the past. They said that despite credible warnings, terrorists identified as members of the Fulani tribe launched a brutal attack on the village of Rafut in the Quatas district shortly after 7 p.m. on October 14. They added that the unprovoked assault occurred even after a security meeting with the police and the military authorities in Bokos was held on October 13th to show you that police, military, and whatever you call it are working with these people. This happened following a week marked by bloody attacks during which over 10 members of the community were brutally murdered. Four young men who were out guarding their families home we are tragically ambushed as they stood watch. The attackers thereafter stormed the compound, killing an elderly man, bringing the total fatalities to five. Five in Walmart on October 7th, four in Cuba on October 10th, one in Makoko on October 11th, and another on October 12th. The statement reads in parts. And the question is, what? are the so-called security forces or security personnel are doing the only place they are concerned is where their own people are being killed which is uh, sokoto and zamfara stage plateau and benue they are not doing anything about it because the people who occupy those areas are mostly christians for you to see for you to see and know that these people knows what they are doing but never uh but um uh no matter what it is, our people must surely survive. Anyway, my people, I please like, share, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back. Bye for now, my wonderful people. Okay,